Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is L here. Just doing uh, just a little discussion on the the new kind of set that just came out, the Dragon of Legends. I actually bought one box, and I kind of managed to pull like a you know a bunch of good cards, the Karibos and Fire Ice Hands, Singros. The I had some magicians, but I traded them, and I got a bunch of the rank up magics. This, this, that, that. But I'm not playing Pokemon, but one trade to error. I'm trying to one to trade right now, but anyway. Besides that, I want to talk about these three cards right here. It's kind of the new cards that everyone's going for and talking about and wanting. But um, I'm kind of liking them, but the one I'm going to go to the most would be Wiretap. But for now, we have Relay Soul, uh, you special a monster from the hand. And anytime that monster would leave the field, you will lose the duel, so you, you basically will lose that round if the monster has disappeared somehow from that field after you special it. Thing about it, think the only way around it is you book a moon the monster, so it no longer has that bad effect on it, or you just use it as a material overlay and use it as a material. So, you know, a lot of people don't want to use it because you may lose a duel, but you're not supposed to use it if they have back row, you know, torrent, copals, mirror, whatever. Of course you don't play it. Don't don't be an idiot. Just play it when they have no back row. You got a free special, and then just overlay so you won't lose it. You know, you know, lose the duel. It's not that hard. Next, soul uh, soul charge. Another uh, <clears throat> another key card that's everyone's hyped over. But um, you can target any number of monsters in your grave, special them, and then you have to lose a thousand life points per each monster. You can't connect your battle phase, and it's only once, once per turn. It's like a rekindling for every deck, if your life points can uh, afford it. But most part, you'll be bringing at least two to three monsters, maybe four or five. You just ballsy like ballsy like that. But um, it's a good card to establish board again. Maybe overlay the monsters, new monsters into something, and you know keep the presence going. But it's a it's a good card. I might try to run one if I can. Um, it would go right next to the rekindling, so it'd be a, a good card. But now this is the broke. This is a very broke trap, and I can see this getting banned like right away as soon as they're, we're done having fun with it. But this is wire wiretap. Um, whenever a trap card is activated, you negate the activation and shuffle that trap back into the deck. Like no cost, no restrictions. It's counter trap stops only traps only that's really it but there's so many you know back row heavy decks these days and format going on so I don't see how this is a bad card at all you just they play mirror you say they put it back to the deck compulse back to the deck warning they pay a 2000 you just wiretap it it's back to the deck you'll see it again later but we have enough life points to pay it then so it's kind of uh, it really sets you, you know, sets you back too, because what if you draw into it and you don't need it anymore, or you don't need that turn, you top deck the same trap you, they put back. It's like, oh, I, I lose now, and that's kind of how much how much it is, pretty much, pretty much how it is. But um, that's really it, YouTube. That's kind of, you know, I have a whole bunch I pulled, but whatever. I can, I won't get all into it. It's just random stuff. But um, that's it right now, YouTube. Uh, this ARG this weekend is an ARG uh, Virginia Richmond tournament. I will be there. Me and uh, more friends from Columbia, South Carolina, will be going. So expect to see me there. <clears throat> and um, let me know what you think if you're going. And hopefully uh, we'll see how things go. But all right, YouTube. This is L here, and I'm signing out. Peace.